Hello, hello. John Walls here. Just wanted to make a public service announcement. And please, please research your fruit before you go try new things. Um, I know some of you saw that I had posted about trying persimmons for the first time. And I was rather pleased at the taste, so... What do I do? I go out the next day to Whole Foods and buy some persimmons. But did I know that there were a few different varieties? And the most astringent, which I wasn't sure what that word meant, but if you can imagine biting a bright green banana that chalky flavor that you get that real bitter feels like you have chalk in your mouth that a hundred times worse is what a uh, unripened persimmon I'm can't remember what exactly this one's called I believe it oh I have the name I saved it and it got thrown away but it started with a K um, some of my Whole Food fans out there, I'm sure, will know. But it looks like an acorn shape, if you can see that. Stay clear of this one. <laughs> but the, when I learned and I researched from a lot of awesome people on YouTube, this one is best to be eaten when it's, we would think, overripe. So if you can see how it's dimpled in, very, very mushy. He said that is the only way that this one actually tastes well. So I froze it and I'm letting it thaw out right now and it is getting extra ripe. They also said you could put in a bag, a, a paper bag with banana um, and that'll ripen it up quicker. But yes, persimmon, acorn shape. Don't eat it raw. There are others that kind of look like a tomato shape. But they said those ones are really good um, to just eat regular. You can eat it firm. So just wanted to let everybody know. Stay clear of the acorn. <laughs> Have a great night.